Now we have the 4B movement. Now we have women finally standing up for themselves and speaking up and speaking out against the bullshit that they've been experiencing for centuries. Centuries! It is to the point now that women realize that they don't need men. And I love that for them. My people, you know when this old 4B movement started? These men were scared. They got scared like, okay, these women finally know that they do not need us. And at a point, I don't think they they already see that they are not going to survive without women. What are they supposed to do? They're supposed to look at why women are, you know, starting a movement to stay away from them. But instead, they decided to, you know, start their own movements, which is the 5G of, yeah, 5G movement, drizzle, drizzle soft guy era kind of thing they're trying to mimic women and be like okay you know what if you don't need us we don't need you but that's a lie women can do without men but men cannot do without a woman let me roll this clip for you all to watch the end like he's making a whole lot of sense so let's watch this video together and i'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video i wanted to wait a little bit to make this video because i wanted the oppressors to show themselves and they definitely have so here we go let's hop into it so if you don't know what it means to be oppressed or to be an oppressor, let me explain. So by definition, an oppressor is somebody who uses their power and authority to control or mistreat a group of individuals. The oppressors typically treat people badly because they feel like they're better or they're more important. So therefore, they should be able to treat people the way they want to treat them and not have any repercussions behind it. And by proxy, the oppressed are the ones on the other end who are experiencing the inequality as well as the unjust behavior of the oppressors. We've seen this behavior happen in real time when it comes to Black Lives Matter and LGBTQ plus community. So eventually the oppressed get tired of being oppressed and they want to speak out and they want things to change. And they either choose a violent method or a nonviolent method to fight back against the oppressors. So let's take Black Lives Matter for an example. The Black Lives Matter movement started because black people are being oppressed. Black people just want to be treated equally, equally, equal rights, be treated the same as everybody else. What does the oppressors do? Nah, black people don't deserve special rights. They don't deserve to be treated equally. Matter of fact, all lives matter. LGBTQ plus experiencing discrimination. So they decide to protest. And guess what? Their oppressors go, nah, they don't deserve special treatment. Why do they deserve special treatment? You know what? Forget it. LGBTQ plus, you don't deserve anything. Now we have the 4B movement. Now we have women finally standing up for themselves and speaking up and speaking out against the bullshit that they've been experiencing for centuries. Centuries! It is to the point now that women realize that they don't need men. And I love that for them. But guess what? Anytime there's an oppressed group, there are oppressors. And these oppressors are misogynistic men who can't understand and fathom why a woman doesn't need them. They can't fathom why a woman doesn't want to be with a man who's going to mistreat them and use them and abuse them. They can't understand why women don't feel safe walking down the street at night. They can't understand why women don't have equal pay and women aren't in spaces where they should be because they're highly qualified to, but just because they're not a man, they're not qualified to. Men cannot fathom that women can do the same thing that they can. And it shows when these same men get on the internet and talk about a man's soft life era. Men should get their haircuts paid for. Men should get treated the same way women get treated because they cannot fathom the thought of women wanting more, women wanting things to change, women wanting things to be different. The only men who have a problem with the 4B movement are the same men who are the reason as to why the 4B movement became to be. I am a firm believer that women don't need men, but men need women. Because who else is going to cook and clean for them? Who else is going to give them milky when they don't feel good? Who else is going to do the laundry and mother these men who can't do things for themselves? And for the men who want to argue and say, well, I pay all the bills. Guess what? Women can make their own money now. Women can also cook and clean for themselves and they are very self-efficient. But you know who isn't? The men who need women. And I've been saying for years that I firmly believe that women should run the world. Women should be in charge. And for the people who say, well, women are too emotional to run the country. Have you seen the men? Have you seen the men? We are literally at war because men can't get along, because their egos are in the way, because they can't see the bigger picture, because they're lacking sympathy and empathy for other individuals who are also involved in the situation. But you know who isn't lacking sympathy and empathy? Women. 
And for the men who are doing a great job loving women and respecting women and taking care of women, you are appreciated. I totally agree with everything you said. Let me know if you feel the same way down in the comment section. Women came to start a movement, which is a 4B movement. They don't want to have kids with men. They don't want to marry men. They don't want to, you know, date or even... They don't want to have anything to do with them. Just, no, no sexual, no sex, da, da, da. And this man saw this movement and what they did was to start their own movement. That is how they feel it is right to undo this situation. That is how they feel that, okay... This is how we should handle it. These women do, do not want us. We we'll act like we don't need them as well. So they started the 5G movement. Then they started soft guy era, drizzle, drizzle. Okay, we will tell them we don't need them. So probably they'll be scared and tell them, okay, we are starting our own movement as well. So that probably women will back down and be like, oh, oh my God, these men have started their movement. Let us, you know, be scared and stop the movement. But no, women are not stopping it. So they're like, okay, women are not stopping it. Let us start the soft guy era, drizzle, drizzle. Okay, we will say we want them, but we tell them we are no longer providing for them. They have to be the one to do everything. All we want to do is cook and clean. What they are complaining about, we want to do it. So they want to leave the drizzle, drizzle, soft guy era, blah, blah, blah. BS. <laughs> And I feel like that is actually the wrong way to end the situation. You see people complaining about something that you are doing wrong, but you are you are not happy with it because you want women to still continue taking the BS that men give out to them. You still want women to still keep quiet while they take all this BS from men. I don't know why some men behave like that. Like I, I, As in, it's just <laughs> it's so alarming because... I see a lot of them uh, talking about the 4B movement, talking about their 5G movement, talking about how they want to continue the 5G movement, how women are women cannot do without men, how even some pick me's keep talking about the 4B movement, which is it doesn't make sense. Women cannot da, da 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 da. Now that women are waking up, a lot of men are shocked. They are so shocked and they are afraid because they cannot do and they cannot treat women anyhow the way they used to and get away with it anymore because women don't want to have anything to do with them. Let me roll this clip for you all to watch to the end. And I'll women are starting to wake up to their power and I think a lot over the coming years, a lot of men are in for a really big shock. Like they're beginning to see now, like men are, are saying, well, we don't want to be in relationships with these strong, independent women, right? And they're beginning to realize that they've got work to do in themselves but the thing is women are now rejecting these weak non-emotionally intelligent men these boys basically in grown adult bodies and although men are justifying it and saying we're choosing not to want women actually they're not they're just trying to make it seem like they're okay with it but they're not okay with it but a lot of men are going to be in for a shock because they're not going to be getting to sleep. They're not going to be able to get have sex with these women because they're going to reject them. Women are looking for now emotionally intelligent men. But then I think about it. And I think it's a good thing because it's probably a good idea that these men who refuse to wake up to their true power, their true balanced power, where they balance out their masculinity with their femininity, when they balance out their mind with their heart, and they begin to express from the heart and begin to share their emotion with the world and their desires and they actually step into their power these guys aren't going to have their genetics passed down which i think is a good thing these guys are not going to have children therefore they're not going to corrupt the next generation and it will only be the emotionally intelligent powerful men who actually get to pass their genes on to the next generation and get to raise emotionally intelligent children. I saw a documentary the other day on, on bonobo apes and they have a really interesting way of limit, living where the females use sex as a way of rewarding the, the males that are essentially emotionally intelligent. Any male that shows aggression towards another male or another female or towards one of their children doesn't get the right to have sex with the females 
Now, this doesn't mean that if the troop is attacked, the males don't attack. That's okay. Aggression in that sense is okay. But aggression between males or aggression towards the female or the children does not get rewarded with sex. And I think that is essentially where we're going as a species now. That women are beginning to wake up to the power that they hold to be able to create more peace and more prosperity in this world. And I think a lot of men are in for a shock. Women are done settling for less. Women are done settling for man-child. Women are done settling for narcissist men. Men that act like they do not know how to weaponize incompetence men. Women are done, at least the wise one, not all women, because we still have some women that will still stay with you even though they know that you're treating them bad. I'm not talking about those kind of women. I'm talking about the women that, that have seen the lights. <laughs> Let me put it that way. The women that have seen it and they've known that mm -mm, I cannot sit down and allow these men to waste my time, to waste my resources, to waste my money. And at the end of the day, they be the one to gain almost everything. Because at the end of the day, when you sit down and look at it, you see that these men... The, in fact, videos are going to be, these men take out your energy. It's the way they drag your energy that you don't even know. When you're not, when you're not with them, you feel more, your energy is different. But when you're with a man that doesn't suit you, that treats you anyhow, your energy is another way. So women are done with this type of men. If you want to be in a relationship with a woman, you should be able to put in a lot of work. You should be able to show that yes you really value this woman not the other way or the normal way men think it's supposed to be and then don't think because a man is staying with you for so long for so many years or he is not leaving you or probably you have um something that okay probably it's gonna change or he's not leaving me if, if he really hates me he's not supposed he's supposed to have left me this man can stay with you even when they hate you they can be with you for years and they don't even love you. In as much as you're still serving them, you're still giving them what they want, they're still getting one or two from you, either money, sex, you're still cooking and cleaning, you're still doing, they're still getting something like a little labor, they're getting something from you, in as much as they can easily get it from you, and they know that when they go out to look for that same thing, they pay for it, or it's very difficult for them to get it, they will stay with you even when they don't like you, even when they hate you so much they will still stay with you in that relationship anyways let me know your thoughts about this video down comment section it's your girl Maya david and thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like and share and subscribe and let me know your thoughts in comment section respectfully about the conversation we are having today and i'll see you all in my next video